What is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today I'm going to do a quick preview of the Apple iOS 11 update, the beta version for your iPad. This is iPad 5th generation, the newest one that came out back in April and we are going to put iOS 11 beta on it. Let's get into it. Right, the reason why I'm upgrading and going to the 11 beta is to test out one, the DJI Go app version 4. I'm going to test that out. Plus, what I've been hearing is that there is going to be a screen capture or screen recorder that is built into iOS 11. I need that. I want that. It is something that I've been looking for. I've been having trouble with my uh, third party apps that I've downloaded to the iPad. It is not perfect. I do not like it whatsoever so I want Apple's screen recorder I want to test it out I want to see what it's got and I want to see if it's good because if it's built by Apple for Apple then it's probably gonna work 99 percent of the times so that is what I want because I want to record my in-flight recordings I want you guys to be able to see what I'm seeing on the screen to better help you in understanding what's going on as I'm flying so that we can describe and work through any problems that you're having so let's go ahead and get this iOS 11 beta version downloaded onto my iPad. So first off, let's begin by backing our iPad up. You're going to go to iTunes, go ahead and hit that back up now button, back your data up, back your iOS 10.3.2, which is the version that I am on right now. All right, getting started. If you go to beta.apple.com, the link will be in the description below. Go there. You need to find your specific device. It'll tell you the instructions of how you can load iOS 11 beta to your device. What you need to do is enroll your device, go to iTunes, back it up, back your device up completely, and then follow the steps in the process to download iOS 11. So what it's having me do is it's going to want me to go into Safari on my iPad, go to beta.apple.com slash profile. I will go there. I will enter my sign in ID. So enter your Apple ID and sign in. And once you are signed in, it will go to the enroll your device screen to get public beta software. It'll already log it logged me in and it recognized that I had an iOS device. We'll scroll down. Number one, archive an iOS backup. That's going to ask you to go into iTunes and back your data up. It'll give you the links for that on the page. It gives you a nice little reminder. Please note that you are about to install beta software. Always back up your data and files before installing beta versions of iOS. We recommend that you do an iTunes backup and archive it before installing the iOS public beta. All right, then it goes to step two, download profile. From your iOS device, go to beta.apple.com slash profile to download the configuration profile. And then we'll scroll down and read the third option. Update your iOS device. iOS devices running iOS 8.1.3 or later will automatically receive the latest public beta software over the air. Tap settings, general, software update to install any available beta software. All right, so let's go ahead. We are in our iPad now. We are going to click download profile. So what it's taking me to is taking me to the general tab into the settings profile device management. It'll tell you to download the profile. Once you download the profile, it'll ask you to install and then restart your device to verify that you have installed the profile. Then you go back into settings, software update. You check and see that the iOS 11 public beta is there in your general settings under software update. You go and you click download and install. Once you do that, it'll ask you to enter in your passcode. You put in the passcode. It'll already enter once you put in your passcode and it'll start the update process. Three hours later. It took about three minutes on my Wi-Fi connection to download the public beta version. Once your software update has downloaded, it'll prompt you if you would like to install it. You say yes. It'll automatically start the installation process by restarting your iPad or your device.
Once the update has completed, it'll prompt you to put in your six digit PIN. Once you do that, it'll take you to an update completed screen. Your iPad is updated successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and you're gonna click continue. Then it's gonna prompt you again with your Apple ID requesting the password for it. So let's put that in real quick iPad analytics comes up to help Apple improve its products and services. Pre-release versions of iOS automatically sends diagnostics and usage data. This can be changed in privacy settings. Diagnostic data may include location app analytics. And of course, since you downloaded the beta version, you are part of the beta test group. So you are going to be sending analytics and data back to Apple so that they can crunch the numbers and verify that their apps are working. Access the dock from anywhere. Swipe up from the bottom edge to show your dock. Your favorite apps will be on the left while your most recent apps will be on the right. Okay, I guess this is just an introductory screen letting you know some of the changes in iOS 11. We'll go ahead and continue. Welcome to iPad. Get started. Sweet, thanks, you're so kind. Sweet, and we're in. And it pulled over all my apps. So I didn't lose any apps, I didn't lose anything. It's all still there, it's all still accessible. You swipe up. And there's a new setting. Sweet. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, there is screen recording. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to add that to my control center. Let's open up the app. Super excite, yo. Get me out. What? So you swipe up. You get to the control settings. There it is. Bottom right-hand corner. There is my screen record button. I'm now screen recording. What? What? Where is it recording to? Let's find it out. We'll record a little bit. We'll swipe over. Boom, boom, boom. We're going. We're making progress. We're making headway. I feel like we're going to have to go fly some drones later on because we are recording my screen. This is incredible. Let's make sure that the DJI Go 4 app will not crash while we're doing this. Okay, at least they let me go into the screen. It is waiting. It is waiting. It's allowing me to go into my editor. I can process my photos, videos, and my create tools in the DJI Go 4 app. Let's watch a video. I can watch a video. Everything I wanted to do is there. Okay, so all you have to do to stop the screen recording is swipe down from the top of the screen. It'll bring up stop screen recording and select stop. That's all you gotta do. Now it's telling me that screen recording video is saved to photos. I guess that's where it's saved. Let's go to photos. Let's figure it out. So we're gonna head into photos, open it up, and look right there in the camera roll. Number one. It is my screen record. Let's press play. And what do you know, ladies and gentlemen, it actually does work. Playback is super smooth. This is incredible. I'm gonna have to go fly some drones. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next video.